Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel MI Tutorials. In today's video, I wanted to talk about a real world scenario which I came across on the Microsoft community. The requirement was to display created tasks and resolved tasks split by the priority high and low. Along with that, the user wanted to have a field parameter which would let him control if he wants to display the absolute values or the percentages. Let me show you the data model that I have here. It's a very simple model. I have a date column here and I have a column here called created task amount and I have a column here called resolve task amount. Now these are the two columns that are being displayed here on these two visuals. I would like you to take a pause here, pause the video and just think in your mind, how would you solve this particular case? I hope you've thought about different ways to solve this issue. I'm going to show you how I solve this one. Let's get started. In my data model, I also have a calendar table. I'm going to start by adding in the visual. Let me bring in the date from the calendar table and the created task result here into the table. And let's change this into a clustered column chart. And let's also bring in the priority here into the legend. And now I have my high low being displayed. Let's enable data labels here. So this is the visual that I have, which is displaying the created task. I would like to have another visual here to display the resolved task. So let me bring in the resolved tasks here. And now you see that I have my resolved tasks here and I have my created task here. So you might say that, hey, the issue is now resolved. You're displaying the created tasks here and then you're displaying the resolved task here. But we also had a second requirement, which is to add a field parameter, which would dynamically switch the values between the absolute and the percentages. So let us see how we can do that. So let's go to the modeling tab and I'm going to add a new parameter here. Let's choose fields and let's call this as switch and let's add the fields in here. I have created measures. Now I have created the absolute measure. This is basically the sum of the created task and the resolved task. I have the created absolute and I have the resolved absolute, right? And then I also have created percentage and then I have resolved percentage. And now when I click on create, I have a field parameter here. I've quickly reformatted this. And now let's get rid of the sum of created here and then bring in the switch from the field parameter. Let's do the same thing for this visual here as well. I'm going to bring in the switch into my Y axis. And now when I select created absolute here, you're seeing that the created absolute is being displayed on both of these visuals. And if I select resolved here, resolved is appearing on both of these visuals. And when I select both here, you see that there's nothing that is happening, right? So how do I dynamically switch between the created and the absolute? And instead of having two different values here for me to choose from this slicer, I just want to have one value which says absolute, another value which says percentage, which will basically, when you select absolute, the absolute value should appear here on both of these visuals. The created tasks should appear here and the resolved task should appear here. So let me show you how I solve this issue. So let's go to the model view here. In the model view, you will see that I have the calendar table and I have a fact table. So this is the switch that I just created. So let's move this aside. So what I did was I created a copy of my calendar table. So let's go into the power query. Let's go into the transform data. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to right click on the dates table and select reference and let's rename these date tables. And I'm going to call this dates underscore created. And then I'm going to call the second one here as dates underscore resolved enter and then let's click on close and apply and now I have another table created and once I have the second table created let's create the relationship remember that in my fact table I only have one field here which has the date I don't have two different fields one for create or and one for resolve I only have one field here so let's go back into my model view and I'm going to create a relationship between the dates resolved into the fact table. So now I have my relationship created. Now that my relationship is created, let's go back into our report view. We now have to make some changes here. So let me remove the field parameters that we just created. I'm going to delete this field parameter here. And once I do that, what I'm going to do here is, let me remove the switch as well. And I have the date in my first visual, I have the date from my dates created table. And then I'm going to leave it at that. And in my second table, I'm going to bring in the date from the resolve table, not from the dates created table. I'm going to remove the date created here from the dates created table. 
I'm going to bring in the date from my date resolve table. I'm going to remove the switch that we had added earlier. So now let me make it clear in my table, in my first visual, I have the date here coming in from dates created table. And in my second visual, I have the date coming in from dates resolve table. Now let me show you the measures that I have created here. I have the basic measure here created absolute value, which is just summing the created task amount. Likewise, I have the resolved absolute value here, sum of the resolved task amount. And then I ha also have a measure here, which is not calculating the percentage. It is a simple measure here, basically calculating the percentage of total. Likewise, I have another measure here for calculating the resolved percentage. Now that I have all of these four measures calculated here, I need another measure which will dynamically calculate and return the measure based on the field that I have in my visual. So I'm using the switch statement here to switch between two different measures, which is created absolute and the resolved absolute. So within the switch statement, I'm using the is in scope function. So what this function does is it basically checks the field that I have in my visual is coming in from the create dates created table or is it coming in from the resolve date table. If I have the date from the dates created table, then this should return the created absolute measure or this should return the resolved absolute. If I don't have the date from the dates created table, then this should return the resolve absolute. Likewise, I have another measure here, which is the same switch statement and is in scope. I'm checking here dates created date. If I have the date from the created table, then this should return the created percentage, else this should return the resolve percentage. Now I've created these two measures. It's now time for me to create the field parameter. Let's go to the modeling tab. Let's go to new parameter fields. Let's call this as switch and now from the measures table i can drag in the dynamic absolute values and the dynamic percentage here and then click on create i now have a slicer here let me quickly format this slicer and change this into a button slicer here and just quickly format this so you see that i now have dynamic absolute dynamic percentage let's quickly go back into our switch statement and rename this and let's call this as absolute and let's call this as percentage click on confirm so let me have renamed this now. We have absolute, I have percentage. Nothing is changing on my visual here because we need to add the value from the field parameter. So let me just collapse all of this and go to the switch field parameter that we just created and drag in the switch here into my Y axis. Let's do the same thing here for the other visual as well. I'm gonna drag in the switch into my Y axis and let's rename this visual here. Let's go to the title and just call this as create date and this is going to be resolved date. All right, I now have these two visuals created. When I select absolute here, you'll see that I have the absolute values being displayed here by create date in this visual, which is 11 and two, and by resolve date in this visual, which is 15 and two. And when I select percentages, you will see that the percentages are being displayed and both the percentages here are different. So this is how you'll be able to display the absolute and percentage values based on create date and resolve date. So that's it guys in this particular tutorial. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. You've learned something new today. Please consider subscribing to my channel for more such tutorials.